Welcome to part 4 of our August 2024 Norwegian Fields cruise on Sky Princess. We would be grateful if you liked and subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification button. In this episode we watch the scenery pass by from our balcony, stop briefly at Alicilt, see the Granga Seawalk in operation, eat ice cream, take an open top bus tour, see snow-capped mountains, pass an octagonal church, eat in sabatinis, take part in a game show, watch some karaoke and enjoy a great rendition of Stairway to Hell. Having left Bergen at 8pm the previous evening, we travelled north overnight towards Giranga, but first we needed to make a brief stop in Hellesilt to drop off passengers who were going to trek over land to Garanga. When we went out onto the balcony at 20 past 7 we were well on our way down the fjord. We were due to stop at Hellesilt at 9. The slow movement of the ship created interesting patterns in the water. This was the first of many waterfalls that we saw. We arrived at Hellesilt at about 8.40 and were tied up by 9. After a very brief stop to let off the brave souls who were trekking to Garanga, we were underway again. We caught our first glimpse of snow in the distance. The itinerary for the voyage had said that Geranga would be a tender port, however earlier that day the captain had told us that we would be using the seawalk instead. At around half past ten we left the camera running and headed to the back of the ship for a better view of our arrival.
many people had gathered at the Wakeview Bar and the two decks above. We'd arrived in Garanga rather earlier than anticipated, and it seemed that perhaps they weren't quite ready for us. Nothing seemed to be happening for a while, but the weather was wonderful and we soaked up the sun and the scenery. At 10 to 11, the process of mooring us to boys started. Quarter past eleven, the seawalk was extended out of the ship, a process that took under three minutes. After a brief wait for clearance, we were told that we could disembark, and after a short stop in our cabin, we headed off the ship. to take a hop on hop off bus tour but by the time we'd sorted out where to buy the tickets the next available trip wasn't until 2.30. The weather was lovely and after a look around the shops and buying a t-shirt we sat in the sun and ate ice creams. As it was an hour long journey I decided to visit the toilets before boarding. This cost the extraordinary sum of 22 Norwegian kroner, about £1.60. Whatever happened to spending a penny? moved into the shade because I was absolutely roasting out in the sun. The rest of them are over, over there somewhere, but that's the wrong way, isn't it? Ships behind me there. And where are they? They're over there somewhere. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> The bus store started close to the ship and climbed along the very windy road to Fleedel Juvet, which is about 242 metres, 794 feet above sea level. Nice. Guys, I just want to give you some advice how you guys can actually use this bus today, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we have four stops, right? This is the first one, of course. And we recommend you guys to start your trip from stop number four first, our last stop, and then you make your way back down here, yeah? So you go all the way up to stop number four. This is where you have the Fleet of Suvet, the viewpoint, right? When this bus arrives over there, this bus needs to come back down the same road, right? So the bus arrives there, the bus goes away, makes a new turn in about 10 minutes, just beside you. It's a super nice walk from the beginning of the stairs to stop number two. All the way back here, it's 15, 20 minutes walking downstairs. So it's not difficult at all, yeah? Of course, if you don't want to do that, you just come back to the stop catch the next bus coming back down. Remember every half hour, have a bus passing by each stop, yeah? How is the way for the kids? S 300 steps, but it's like 15 down, then you have a platform, 20 more, then you have another platform. It's just the last part of it, and a little bit more, but it's not that difficult, super nice.
Coming up is the Wooden Parish Church. It was built in 1842 and is octagonal. Although Garanga is a small village, the Garanga Fjord is a UNESCO World Heritage Site which attracts large numbers of tourists which are catered for by several hotels and campsites. This is the waterfall walk mentioned by the bus guide.
although Fleet Old Shiva was shown as the furthest point on the route, the bus had to go further up the road to turn around. We stopped at Fleet Old Shiva for around 10 minutes. Although in theory we could have got off the bus and waited for the next one, as ours was full, it didn't seem wise. With Sky Princess dwarfed by the surrounding countryside, you get some idea of the scale of things. Hall Hitter is an apartment and lodge complex. is extremely windy and quite narrow with lots of hairpin bends. After about a 50 minute trip we were back at Sky Princess again. After an afternoon spent in our cabin we went to Sabatini's for an early evening meal. Here's some of what we ate and drank. For a full review of Sabatini's see part one of our April 2024 Spain and France series. Later, we took part in the game show Strikeout in Princess Live. This was followed by a Queen quiz and then karaoke.
my tears are falling Cause you've taken her away And though it really hurts me so There's something that I've got to say Take good care of my baby At a quarter to midnight, we headed to bed. In the next episode, we take a ride on a road train past some powerful rapids, see more snow-capped mountains, meet some trolls, have coffee in a cafe, get lost with inside of the ship, watch Annie take a dip, eat charcuterie and chocolate truffles in vines, take to the dance floor in the piazza. Thanks for watching. We'd be very grateful if you liked and subscribed.